little backstory. I've been wanting a kitten for a very, very long time because of whatever excuses, but now I'm just gonna go for it. And I have been looking at Craigslist ads and adoption centers every day for weeks now, three times a day, because I've been like looking for like the perfect kitten. I want it to be a kitten that was once feral and needs to be adopted because I want to save the kitten and give him a better life. I want him to be a kitten because I just feel like I can take care of a kitten and I can like know this cat for its entire life and just really have that whole connection. I wanted it to be fuzzy, but honestly I was kind of down with whatever. And that was kind of like the only three things that I had in mind. And then I saw this cat on the internet. It was being sold by some adoption center. And he goes by Handsome right now, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that name. And he's really fuzzy, and he's a kitten, and he's a boy, and he's getting neutered as we speak. They're still considering my application. I haven't been approved yet, but I just knew that when I laid my eyes on him that he was the cutest kid that I have ever seen and I just could not wait to meet him hopefully. Oh my gosh, I just found out that my application was approved. I'm gonna read it. Ahem. Handsome did just fine with surgery yesterday. He's back to his normal self. Good news, your adoption application has been approved. The next step is to meet him and fill out the contract and pay the fee. Uh, so, okay, so the next step is to meet him and hopefully I fall in love with him like I have in all the pictures, yay! Apparently, this uh, adoption center's cats that are black or black-ish uh, are 50% off. <laughs> Which is so funny to me because this is like a life <laughs> and he's 50% off. But whatever, I'm down with that. Um, and I'm gonna meet him at Petco tomorrow at noon. I'm so excited, you have no idea! <laughs> This is, this is actually where I first saw a Handsome's profile. There he is. He's a domestic short hair with a medium coat. I cannot wait to see the 3D version. Hey, today's the day I get to visit little Calyx and I dressed really well because I don't know, I want to make a good impression, so let's go. Here we go. Find out for sure. This is Handsome. And Handsome was found, um, he was part of a litter that was in somebody's backyard and he was going to grow up feral. And one of the Humane Society volunteers went to the homeowners and asked if she could save a few kittens from the litter. And Handsome was one of the kittens picked and the Humane Society named him Handsome for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh my gosh! To us, we would greatly appreciate it. Okay, I will. When even I make just, it big. Even <laughs> just publicizing that you got him from the Humane Society and directing people to us will help. Okay. Put you in your box for now. No. He's like, do I have to? Hello. My name is Calix. I was born April 28th. I just got back home and I have all of his stuff laid out and I'm getting it all set up. I got his litter box and he's walking around. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I got him some toys, and he's a little shy right now, and I got him a laser pointer. Hi, Calyx. <laughs> How are you, baby? No, he's a little shy. Couldn't find any Tupperware, I mean, any bowls that I like, so right now we're just using some Tupperware, I have some wet food, some dry food, and some water for him. And uh, he's like under the couch, and I'm so sad. I don't know what to do to make him more comfortable. Food closer to him. Still nothing. Well, well, well. Nobody decided to come out. Can I, it's okay, baby. No. Come on, kid. You want that? You want the dot? Come on. <laughs> come on. Victory. Calyx is exploring right now. Somebody has just completely come out of their shell and they want non-stop pets. Like, <laughs> doesn't really know how to sit in a lap yet. A little cat shopping. This is so that the room or the litter boxes won't smell. This is catnip because catnip on cats is hilarious. Some wet food. 
Uh, this is, cats really love like the stick and the rope with like a mouse at the end type thing. So I got that even though it was kind of expensive. And uh, of course I got portable lint removers because I feel like that's gonna be a problem now. Unbeknownst to me, this thing squeaks. Caleb, do you like it? My couch is all ready for a study session. Uh, so let's see how well Calyx does <laughs> uh, being a study companion. Basically, Calyx is just eating my fake flowers over there. Uh, so, yeah. Calyx, you want to move? <laughs> going to vlog Calyx's first uh, encounter with catnip. Calyx is over there, no good, in my sink. Let's see if Calyx will say no to drugs. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I have a fiend for a cat. Oh my gosh. Calyx, you like that, buddy? Yeah, you rolled yourself completely <laughs> all of the catnip. Study breaks used to just be being on my phone or going on Facebook, but now we have other things to do. I was literally in the middle of doing my hair, and I was like, what is that smell? <laughs> my cat stepped in its own poop in the litter box and then walked all over my apartment. <laughs> there are literally paw prints of poop all over my table, and look, he even skid there. You have I just had to take his paw, put it in the sink, and wash it, and it was really dramatic. <laughs> and I was really sad about it, because he doesn't like water. Bad, bad cat! Sorry I had to do that. It's not like I'm not cleaning his litter box. I cleaned it six hours ago, <laughs> and it's completely filled with cat poop. <laughs> do you have any conscience? Do you even care? That you literally put feces all over the table that I eat? <laughs> do you care at all? You don't care. Okay, Lex. Here's your first experience with a vacuum. Alright. Baby, we're off to give him some shots, so he's so scared. I don't think that's <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, baby, maybe you should just stay in your box. It's gonna be okay. I promise. We're here at the vet. Relax, baby. I promise they're gonna take care of you. We just weighed him and he's only 3.4 pounds. Okay, let's check checking out the cat trees. I really like this one. But guess what, Calyx? It's two hundred baller, so we're gonna have fun at my apartment with that one. I really like this color on Calyx. It's kind of too big on him, but I really do want him to wear a collar in case he gets lost or something. Getting Calyx's name engraved. Wow, that is awesome. What about most stressful experience at Petco ever? So I got him a little cat tree. I've been wanting to get him a cat tree since I got him. Because uh, I am at school a lot, and so I want to make sure he has plenty of stuff to do while I'm gone. I'm super paranoid like that. This is what my cousin got me. This is just a present to make it look pretty. I'm not going to keep it here or else he'll destroy it. That's Stormy, by the way, pushing his sister. So yeah, it's it's got like scratching, a little bed area that's a lot softer, uh, another little bed, tunnels so and i think he can like scratch on the wood i'm not really sure and it was on sale i think it was like 40 dollars off oh and it comes with a little thing so he can play right now he's over there grooming himself you i mean he may look calm right now but oh my goodness this cat was crying and crying and running around petco i had to get an employee to help me you you're cute aren't you you're cutie you little cutie! No one can tell how vicious you are. Here's his collar. It says Calyx. And it's turquoise. 
And turquoise, I think, goes really well with his fur. So yeah, it's a little too big now, but soon he'll be able to wear it and has a little bell, so I always know where he is. sending an email about hydrocephalus. Okay guys, well thank you so much for um, watching me and my cat become one. I just finished my homework it's over there and my cat was asleep but I just woke him up. So we're gonna go to sleep now and tomorrow's a new day. So we will see you next time. Bye everyone.